Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys! And thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another Let's Play franchise mode series. And um, oh gosh, we are gonna get baby warthogs. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. There are so many things happening, it's crazy. We also have, if I remember correctly, we also have Doodles and Georgina again pregnant. So, oh boy, we're gonna have so much fun during this episode. At least I hope. Oh my god, there's the first one! Oh my goodness! <gasps> Two! Oh my gosh, are we gonna get more? Don't tell me we're gonna get more. <gasps> Two baby warthogs! A female and a male. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy! So, oh gosh, this is going to be an incredible episode. So if I remember correctly, oh my god, Bungo, Georgina already had offspring. And Doodles is expecting offspring. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Let's do some naming. Let's do some naming. So we have Okbana right over here. And we're going to name you. Let's have a look. What do we have? Gaming Gecko. Oh, hopefully I pronounced that right. So Gaming Gecko, thank you so much for participating. And hopefully you'd like to be a very cute baby warthog. Now where's the lady? Where's the other one? <laughs> where's the other one? You're so quick. Oh, there you are. You're swimming. And then we have Vera. Thank you so much for participating. I really hope you like to be a cute little baby warthog. Look at them all in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're all swimming. They're having so much fun in this water. This is incredible. <laughs> this is so funny. Well, when you don't have a mod pool, yeah, of course you're gonna have a nice little swim. All the Hearthhawks are in the water right now. This is crazy. Okay, so let's have a look because we do have another baby right over here. That's you! Oh my goodness, you derpy face! Hello, derpy! <laughs> if I could, I would call you derpy, derpy face. <laughs> you're so incredible. I love that face. It's so hilarious. Okay, so you are a little female, so I'm gonna call you Lucy. I think that's a great name for a cute little bungo baby, so thank you so much, Lucy. So that's actually Matt Lucius Randrel. so that's, we're gonna call it Lucy. Thank you so much for participating, and I hope you like this lovely derpy face. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard about this one. This is so hilarious. I love those faces. They're definitely one of my favorite animals and I'm so happy we got these guys. They're so incredible. Okay, so we have grizzly bears right over here. And as mentioned in the previous episode, as soon as we have some more money, which is going really well, we're going to redo all these habitats and make them look nice and pretty. Now, obviously, I really want to start with this one, but we started the zoo with this one, so I feel like the next episode we're going to do is going to be a speed build for decorating this habitat and this habitat. So, and then afterwards we're going to do this one. I'm really tempted to start with this one, but let's start with the front because, yeah, well, you know, we want to have it all look nice and pretty. So I think we're going to start with these smaller ones and afterwards we're gonna do this one. So we have a lot of uh, cute little babies right over here. And for the next habitat, obviously we're going to build a next hab- Oh my goodness, Doodles! You also got a little baby! Oh my gosh. You're a little baby boy, derpy face! <laughs> okay, amazing. So you are gonna be Mo from Mohadri. Thank you so much for participating. I love these names, guys. Come on, let me click you, Mo. Mo, don't run from me. Pause the game. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? You lovely, cute little derpy face. You're gonna be Mo. So thank you so much for participating. And if you guys want your name to be added, so your YouTube name to be added as one of the animals in our franchise series, 
go to my community wall. I'm gonna link it in the description and there you can sign up for it. And we're gonna have a lot of names, so don't worry. There's a, there are a lot of names on there. And if I'm not able to use them during this franchise series, we might use them in the next one. Or I'm going to name animals in Malin Zoo, our sandbox park, right before I upload it to the Steam Workshop. So don't worry, guys. Keep adding your names. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed this series so far. So I really hope you guys do too. And uh, we have Barney right over here and Manuel breathing. You guys are so cute. Himalayan brown bear. I said grizzly bears, I think I said that, but it's Himalayan brown bears. It's because of the... Oh my god, more babies coming in. One day you're getting some offspring. Uh, but I think I'm confused with the community challenge we just had. It now ended, but that was the grizzly bear challenge. So talking about that, we got a lot of animals from that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of those animals to get a to build a new habitat in our zoo oh my goodness a little baby boy you're so cute hello cutie a little baby boy and this one we're gonna call mike taylor <laughs> i think i hope mike you like to be a warthog too they're so cute Definitely. Also one of my favorite animals in this game. So bongos and the warthog. Like, ah, oh, they're so adorable. They're all adorable. To be honest, I'm gonna keep saying this during the whole series that I just love all these animals. It's, it's incredible. I can't help it. Okay, so the next animal we're going to add in our zoo because what we spoke about the last episode was like to have more of like the snowy animals in this section right over here and then maybe here we're gonna have some african savannah Afri uh, animals or anything like that we're just gonna we're gonna see how that will end up but while you participate do during these challenges right over here so the weekly challenges you will get rewards and i actually because i never use those animals i actually have a pretty decent amount of rewards right over here so what i'm thinking because I do have one snow leopard in my training center, which is very high rated snow leopard. And this is a female one. And I also have a male one, I just noticed, right over here. So I think we're gonna transfer you and we're going to build a snow leopard habitat right somewhere over here. I don't know yet where I'm gonna build it, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. And then we're gonna have snow leopards. And for those who have seen my Let's Play franchise mode series during the beta, Oh my god, we didn't got any babies. So this will definitely be the very, very first time I will ever see snow leopard babies, if we are able to get one. <laughs> or two, or three, I don't know. I'm really excited for that, so let's start building and let's keep our fingers crossed for some snow leopard babies in the future, guys.
Okay, so I think as a base for the snow leopards, this is kind of what I'm looking for. Obviously, we're going to change this, especially with like the edges because the edges are like super squarish. Right? We're gonna change it a little bit. I actually also want to give them a little bit of water or something like that. And as you may have seen during the speed build, I didn't do anything yet with this underwater, underwater, underground viewing gallery. 
but yeah we're definitely going to get back and make this nice and pretty in a later stage but I think it already looks quite nice, like the snow leopard doesn't really like a lot of trees and stuff, so you have to be careful with that. But I think with like these rocky mountains and stuff, this is definitely something to go for. Yeah, I really already like the look of this, even though we have to do some edges. That's why I didn't cover everything up, because I know I'm gonna get back to this area and we're also gonna do this viewing gallery. What I didn't check was a traversable area, which is definitely something we have to look into. Okay, so they are able to escape here because of that tree, I think? Yikesy. Okay, so for now I'm just gonna raise this terrain a little bit. Or like, raise the barriers a little bit and make sure they're not able to climb or jump out of this area. And let's have a look, were there any other sections where they are able to walk out of the habitat. Okay, now this is uh, seriously a big thing. Like, uh, this is gonna be hard because they are able to walk or jump. I think it's jump. It's weird that it doesn't give a sign that they are able to escape. I wonder why that is. Is it like reading that there are fences still? Right in the back over here. Well, I think, I think I'm gonna leave it now. I just wanna see how if this will end up. We need to name them! So, we're going to name these beautiful snow leopards and I'm going to give you the name of Emma from Emma Parkinson and we're also having a male one and the male one we're going to call Ricardo. Thank you guys so much for participating. I really hope you will love to be a snow leopard in our zoo and oh gosh did you see that snow leopard just now laying in this tree like it was higher and laying down in a tree that was really cool i really hope we can see some animations of that again so other than that i think they're really happy with their habitat obviously we need to do research and stuff so let's start that up right now okay we have that research for the bungo and the common warthog and okay we're gonna do research for the snow leopard and the mechanics like one thing that is very important is for the snow leopard especially we need that level 5 one-way glass so we're almost there because i remember from playing with the beta that they were really stressed or they can be very stressed and especially when they are lying over here and the people are looking inside they're not going to like that oh i can't wait to do like really nice decorations inside of here but for now it's all good they have a really big cave but we're gonna make it a little bit more narrow so it's now really wide but we're gonna make it a little bit more narrow that they are really able to walk in and it just feels cozy and warm i wanted to say but they don't like warm <laughs> we have plenty of space for them so i really hope we are able to get some babies in let's have a look and their chance for offspring. It's 55% right now, which is not really high, but we're gonna do some research, so hopefully we will get the fertility bonus. And yeah, um, oh yeah, that's a very good point. Are you able to walk here? Because if it's like too small or anything, they probably can't find a path, but I think we are all good. So hopefully you're gonna get, bring some food. We have a work roster because right over here we have a staff building and a keeper's hut and some electricity so that is all good i think we really have a nice habitat going on right over here already i think it really looks nice i'm really curious what you guys think of this but i'm actually really happy with how this one turned out I'm just really hoping that everything will work and that they will get some food and stuff let's have a look at you it's pretty dark right now. You're know, like walking in the shades. You're handsome. You are really handsome, Emma. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, okay, so it's getting daytime, so we will be able to see some more light. Oh, we're gonna say hi to Sean. That's, I'm pretty sure that Sean McBeard, he, uh, where are you? Sean McBeard, he's a German YouTuber, definitely go and check him out if you're German and, or speak German of course, 
and you uh, like Planet Zoo, he's amazing, he's a really good friend of mine, and Tiggs, well known from, oh my god, your hair is so awesome, it fits totally you. <laughs> Tiggs is well known for like the little icons you see in my thumbnail. So we right now have a grizzly bear icon and for Maylin Zoo we have a panda icon. And she created those. She's amazing. I love her creation. She's so good at drawing. So yeah, a big shout out to Tiggs. So that's really amazing. I don't know who Ash Doll is, but I'm gonna say hello because we can use some conservation credits here. That's amazing that you guys are visiting my zoo. That's the very first time I ever see you guys visiting my zoo. So that's really cool. Okay, so it's getting a little bit more not more daytime. Oh, you're playing with your card box. That's so cool. Oh, I like this habitat. I like this. And I obviously gonna do a little bit more. I'm, I'm probably going to use a little bit more of these logs or like these dry dead i don't know how you call them how do you call them broken himalayan pines we're definitely going to use that and oh boy give us some babies i really hope so emma ricardo i really hope you are going to bring some really cute little babies in and yeah as i said ladies and gentlemen <gasps> you're going in the tree no way! Oh no, don't go away! Oh my god, that was so cool! That was so cool! Ah, you should have laid down longer. Oh, you're jumping. Oh. <laughs> okay, but as I said, ladies and gentlemen, the next episode, we're gonna do some real detailing. I'm gonna let the game run to 75k, I think, or maybe 70k. And then I think I have enough money to at least start doing some real nice detailing on these two areas right over here. Uh, so hopefully you guys are excited for that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this habitat. And it's not finished. We're gonna get back to this really soon. Hopefully. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe of course if you already haven't. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.